This is Witchbase News for Friday the 18th of November 2022 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week ...there's a new Thargoid Interceptor coming in update 14. Two key features are being buffed ...we now know where the first human contact with a Stargoid is due to take place ...and we break down everything else we learn about update 14 from FDEVs information dense livestream. As always if you enjoy our stuff hit the thumbs up ...don't forget to subscribe and ping that little bell to see all our Elite Dangerous content. You can also join our Patreon which directly supports the work we do here at the pit ...links to that and everything else are below. As Thargs Day rolled around this week a new duo of community goals kicked off ...that are centred around the efforts of the Xeno advocacy movement and its efforts to promote diplomacy rather than gratuitous violence in our dealings with our mandibled faced multi limbed murderous neighbours. Congressman Dalton Chase is fronting the effort and in his speech he details how the megaship Kingfisher will be moving to Hyades Sector Y0-QB5-1 to greet Stargoid 1 that the movement has named Taranis. If you're curious Taranis is a god of thunder from Celtic mythology who also is associated with 8 spoked wheel iconography ...probably not a coincidence. The text of this weeks community goals states that the Welcome Wagon Megaship has been granted special restricted access to the system for its rendezvous meaning everyone except the Megaship will be locked out of the system ...so that's definitely going to go well then. Congressman Dalton Chase makes special mention of the some 3000 brave volunteers his words, that are riding the soon to be atomised megaship for its meeting with the all powerful swirling salad creature from beyond the stars. That's nice of him isn't it? Not going with them then clearly. 1CG this week is asking for deliveries of fruit and vegetables, semiconductors, basic medicines and muon images to the Blenkinsop hub in the Ander Van Dul system while a twin CG is asking for bounty vouchers to the same location to help keep pirates off the back of the deliveries. We have no idea currently when the Doom ship is due to arrive for its meeting ...suffice to say that it won't be long. A quick look at the Canon Stargoid tracker linked below will show you that Stargoid 1 is already bearing down on the target system ...so the brave volunteers won't have to wait long for their almost inevitable doom. In a much anticipated and somewhat information dense livestream last night community managers Bruce Garrido and Arthur Tolmy let go the first tidbits of information regarding the upcoming update 14 to Elite Dangerous Odyssey which they are describing as one of the biggest updates since the launch of Odyssey and they have revealed that it is scheduled to arrive with us on November the 29th. An update incidentally that is expected to herald the arrival of multiple unknown internet stellar anomalies that have been sent by the Thargoids as a direct result of Salvation's attempt to wipe them out with the Proteus superweapon in HIP 22460 ...which I'm sure they're absolutely not angry about. The team were very keen to point out throughout the stream that the information they were letting go was very limited and with good reason and is nowhere near the full content of the update. Elite Dangerous has always been a game about discovery and that discovery continues to be at the heart of the player experience that the company considers so important. With that in mind then ...the vast majority of new additions and changes to the game arriving with update 14 will be kept largely secret ...until the update drops ...and will be for the player base to discover ...as has always been the case in the game particularly when it comes to all things associated with the Thargoids. What they did reveal however was what they described as a new interceptor that will be part of the patch. 
This new interceptor will not be a run of the mill interceptor. It'll be something more unique and it will behave very differently to Thargoid entities that we've seen before. The team describing its behaviour as mysterious and it will be doing something quite specific that we'll need to investigate. Be warned however if you're detected and the interceptor decides it doesn't like you it will call for help. What form that help is and how quickly it arrives the team did not divulge. At the very least the way this new entity is being described it sounds as though this new interceptor affords much more of an opportunity for observation, research and investigation rather than out and out combat and given the Thargoids propensity for detecting our heat signatures we are left wondering if perhaps very cold running science vessels are about to become important as we collectively investigate this new interloper. The team then went on to confirm that as we reported last week there is indeed a buff incoming to the payouts given for exobiological data from Vista Genomics. Arthur and Bruce stopped short of giving specific numbers but they did say that the pay increase players would see from the exobio payouts would be quote pretty significant unquote. This is undoubtedly going to be a huge boon to the players looking to raise their rank in the Odyssey introduced on foot career path and it was good to hear this confirmed by the team. The boost to Vista Gen payouts is actually scheduled to arrive before update 14 and is currently windowed for some time in the next week. Just after update 14 a further buff is being delivered to the game. This time however the devs are turning their eye toward the base anti xeno weapons in the game. The aim appears to be to make the regularly available AX weapons much more of a viable option when getting involved with anti xeno operations. The team were at pains to point out however that the Guardian based weaponry will still absolutely be the top tier choice in situations where they can be used. As of this video that's anywhere outside of HIP 22460. However we do have very strong suspicions that that might be about to change as the Stargoids start to arrive in the bubble. If indeed our suspicions are correct then any buff to the damage and effectiveness of the current bottom tier AX weapons could well prove very valuable indeed. Whatever the case if you're just starting out with AX combat and you've not yet been through the acquisition of Guardian AX technology then your involvement will likely be much more effective. It's interesting to hear that two areas of the game are being buffed and does put a different context on some comments Arthur made later in the stream where he stated that detailed player feedback continues to be collated and fed back to the developers. He specifically made mention that engineering and quote some of those loops unquote are being looked at and that a lot of work was going on behind the scenes. Given the buffs that Exobio and Base AX are getting around the release of update 14 it does seem likely that we can expect more of this sort of thing going forward. The team were very clear throughout the stream that what they discussed was just one small part of update 14's bigger picture stating that update 14 was quote really bringing something big to the game unquote and there is much more to the update that they just can't talk about yet. The yet part of that statement was particularly important however as they further added that post update 14's launch they are planning an in depth dive into the patch and its content on a livestream that will include interviews with the developers. That livestream is scheduled for the 1st of December. Post update 14 Arthur did also say that he's been looking at details for more updates coming to the game and that they would be talking about that content soon. When we know more about this we'll of course let you know right here. With all of these key points then there's a fair bit to take in. In the week ahead you can expect a buff to the payouts from exobiological samples. Following that update 14 is scheduled for the 29th of November. It's likely to be a big patch with associated significant downtime so just be forewarned for that. Just one of the features of update 14 is a new interceptor. It'll be doing something mysterious and it's up to the player base to work out what it's doing. It won't like being disturbed and if it detects you it'll likely call for help. Soon after update 14 the base AX weapons will be getting a buff but the Guardian base technology will still be far and away the more powerful option. 
there will be a special deep dive livestream on the 1st of December looking at update 14 and talking to devs. Post update 14 there is more to come and FDev plan on talking about that soon but there is currently no firm schedule for that information. All in all a very busy livestream and a packed few weeks now lay in front of us as we head into December. There are some interesting days ahead I suspect. What plans do you have to investigate the new interceptor? Have you got a boatload of exobio data you're looking to hand in? How do you think the Kingfisher megaship will fare when it attempts first contact with a stargoid? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.